Hey -o! So what is going on guys it's Triple G here back with another Borderlands 3 video and today we are going to be going through the meta weapons that are now the best weapons in the game following the release of arms race we have some new entries into each class guys if you enjoy this video please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on twitch we stream five times a week and otherwise let's get straight into the best weapons in borderlands 3 so the first weapon on the list is a new entry dislodging the light show and that is the fastified tizzy now the tizzy is an exclusive in arms race so you will need to own season pass 2 to get access to this weapon however its special ability is that each time it overheats its fire rate increases going into an exponential amount of fire rate this weapon is exceptionally good on zane with his commitment stacks but anybody can use this weapon due to its really really high damage output and it can come in at times two and at times three if you're looking for a recommendation on anointments i would always recommend next two magazines in this current meta an honorable mention for the light show it is still an exceptional pistol and is much more diverse than the tizzy however the tizzy just nips it to the bud because of its overall damage output up next on the list we have the plasma coil now again this is another new entry the plasma coil is an arms race exclusive and it is very very good indeed it has a special ability that even though it is a malawan it actually pulses to the enemy aiding in ammo efficiency and this thing absolutely smacks it is good on all characters absolutely all characters it can only come in shock and radiation however you can add elements to it using next two magazines it absolutely stands out on mose but as i said before it is exceptionally good on all characters honorable mention here for the flipper the flipper is still exceptionally good and still synergizes really well with those builds that require you to hold your trigger down the entire time also i mentioned to the redistributor which has came back with a vengeance on zane with the sea and dead and commitment stack combination on to rocket launchers then and the rocket launcher is still the plague bearer the plague bearer dropped from warden in eden 6 in the anvil and is still absolutely amazing for those of you that don't know its special ability is that if you fire it kind of horizontal across the ground it will have these projectiles that split out and can track to enemies it is amazing on characters that can do additional splash damage or amazing on flak which can make those extra projectiles actually crit looking for a anointment recommendation i would recommend consecutive hits and this weapon can come in a variety of flavors and is very very good honorable mention to the back burner back burner is exceptionally good for bossing however i think the plague bearer just nips it on this occasion next up then we are on to shotguns and no surprises here it is the face puncher the face puncher is just good no matter what character you use it on due to how that melee is scaled obviously it's exceptionally good on amara who can boost her melee damage through her skill tree however flat can also make very very good use of this just check out my fish rack build if you don't believe me the two anointments that I would recommend for the face punch are, are either the consecutive hits or 300 over 90. Combine this with a spark plug or a white elephant for additional damage. Honorable mention here for the reflux. The reflux and the hellwalker are both exceptional shotguns, but due to its diversity, I think the face puncher just steals the title. Next up, we have snipers and we have a new entry and that is the boogeyman now the boogeyman not only does a lot of damage it's actually exceptionally fun you have a chance to spawn a boogeyman on kill which is a big skull that will go around and damage enemies it is really really good this weapon works exceptionally well on mows especially with bottomless mags as you can keep this thing firing forever there are still some other decent snipers in the game the skull smasher and the unseen threat are there however this weapon is by far the best sniper in the game now finally we are on to assault rifles now no surprises here that the monarch still remains the number one there were no assault rifles in arms race so nothing new to dislodge it 
and it hasn't been nerfed so it is still absolutely incredible obviously if you put this into bipod mode it doubles out its dps meaning that you can put an astronomical amount of damage out in just a short period of time again the anointment i would even recommend if you're on flak you could use consecutive hits or next two mags or on zane now he has access to ascs next two mags is definitely the way forward there are some other decent ars out there the chaos being one that comes to mind straight away but nothing at the moment can match the just raw damage output that the monarch can do in addition to that the monarch can still come in a variety of flavors allowing you to match those health bars for added damage so that is it for today's video guys if you have enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on twitch we stream five times a week and otherwise i'll catch you on the flip